Hi, for this lesson, I am going to teach you how to solve quadratic equations using extracting square roots. Or how are we going to find for the quadratic roots using uh, extracting the square roots method, okay? So you just need to remember that in using this method, the given quadratic equation must be in this form. Okay? Dapat yung quadratic equation nyo ay mayroong linear, no? Quadratic term, rather, and the constant term. Dapat yung linear term, wala siya. Okay? Hindi siya required. Dito, using this um, method. So, let's try to solve some examples. Let's say, we have 4x squared is equal to 64. So, extracting the roots, basically, we need to just get the square roots of each term in the equation. So, I'm going to rewrite the given here. And then, yeah. So, we will be uh, getting the square root of these terms here. So, what is the square root of 4? That is 2. Because 2 times 2 is 4. Or if you can't solve this, you can just um, type this in your calculators. Pero in this one, in getting the square roots of variables, you need to know how to get the square roots of variables. So, ang sagot dito, square root ng x squared ay x. Bakit po siya naging x? Okay? So, ganito yung nangyari dyan. So, square root of x squared, mayroong invisible 2 dito sa labas ng radical sign. This is your radical sign. Para lang yan sa exponents, di ba? Pag walang exponent ang isang variable, automatically we have the invisible one here. Okay? So, radical sign, mayroon siyang invisible 2 na nasa labas. So, you're going to divide the exponent by the invisible number here, by 2. Okay? So, 2 divided by 2. So, that is 1. So, x raised to 1. Of course, hindi ko na siya isusulat yung 1. Kasi, um, mali na yan. Okay? Invisible 1 siya dapat. Kaya, naging x yung answer natin dito sa um, given na ito. Next, we will be getting the square root of 64. So, kailangan dito, may dalawa siyang sign, okay? So, isang positive, isang negative. Dito sa kabila, hindi na natin yun ginawa. Kasi, this is your quadratic term. And may kasama siyang um, variable dito, constant term. So, we need um, the two numbers na magkaiba yung sign, okay? So, square root ng 64 is positive, negative, 8, di ba? Kasi 8 times 8 is 64, negative 8 times negative 8 is positive 64. So now, we need to find for the value of x, how are we gonna do that? Or what is the next step po? So kailangan i-isolate po natin si x, okay? To do that, we need to divide both the equations by 2. Kasi kailangan makancel ni 2 katabi ni x. Okay? So, yan. Maka-cancel na ngayon siya. So, matitira na lang si x. So, here, you can see dalawa siyang um, numbers. So, we are going to split this. So, isa 8 over 2 and negative 8 over 2. Okay? Nakita niyo ba yun? So, 2. Okay, ayan. Now, continuing this, let's solve for the values of x. So, let's, let's um, delete this part. So, ayan, um, we have now x is equal to 8 over 2, diba? And negative 8 over 2. We need to simplify this. So, 8 over 2, that is 4. 
and negative 8 over 2, that is negative 4. Ngayon, when we are writing the roots of quadratic equations, ito na anak yung roots niya, si 4 and negative 4. We will use sets, okay? Kailangan nakalist yung um, roots niya, yung quadratic roots. So, the solution set of the given quadratic equation is you need to write your answer in this form. So, negative 4 and negative 4. Yan ang ngayon yung answer ninyo. How about another example? Let's say we have um, a binomial. No? Let's say we have x plus 2 squared minus 81 is equal to 0. So, paano na po, ma'am, ang gagawin natin? Kailangan kasi, anak, sa extracting the square, kung nakita nyo kanina, yung example ko, dapat nakaganito siyang form. Okay? Para ma-extract natin both sides ng equations. Pero, this part, sa other side ng equation, 0. So, ano kung gagawin kaya natin? Of course, there will be transpositions na mangyayari. So, we are going to transpose negative 81 to the right side of the equation para magkaroon ng parehong term dun sa sides ng equation. So, ang mangyayari dyan, so, magiging siyang quantity x plus 2 squared is equal to 81. So, magiging na siyang positive kasi uh, when we transpose numbers or terms, magpapalit siya ng sign. Okay? Laging tatandaan yan. And then, we can now extract square roots here. So, let's extract the square roots of both sides of the equation. So, dito ang mangyayari sa, sa left side na equation, ang answer na lang dito, x plus 2. ba? Ma'am, bakit po ganun? So, ba? Kanina sinabi ko sa inyo, may invisible 2 dyan. So, kung may 2 dyan, and 2 dito, 2 divided by 2, magiging na lang tong 1. So, you can just cancel this para hindi kayo mahirapan. Okay? So, natira na lang, huwag nyo nang isulat yung parentheses, x plus 2. Okay? How about this? Uh, square root of 81. So, we need two answers. Positive and negative. Square root of 81 is 9. Okay? So now, ma'am, paano na po? Ano na pong next step? So kanina, di ba, sinab natin, um, kanina, numerical coefficient. Monomial siya, di ba? 2x, ganyan yung kanina, ginibin. Kaya natin dinivide sa 2. Pero itong example natin ngayon, hindi naman siya anak monomial. Ito, binomial tong nasa left side. So, if that is the case, katulad ng ginawa natin dito, we need to transpose 2 para ma-isolate si x. Kanina yung ginawa natin, monomial kasi siya. Para ma-cancel yung numerical coefficient, we need to divide it by 2. Ganyan yung ginawa natin kanina, di ba? Pero in this example, uh, binomial kasi to. So, we need to transpose muna. Okay, so let's transpose a uh, positive 2 in this side. So, matitira na lang si x. Need pa ba natin siyang i-divide? I believe not kasi wala naman siyang kasamang numerical coefficient. Or kung meron man, that is the invisible 1. Okay, so positive uh, negative 9. Positive 2 will become negative 2 or minus 2. So here, as you can see, Pwede natin tong split this side, no? Pwede siya x is equal to 9 minus 2 and negative 9 minus 2. Ganyan ngayon yung mangyayari sa kanila. So, solving this, let's solve. Delete muna natin to. Ayan. 
and solve natin ito. Yan, solve natin siya. So, x is equal to the first root is 9 minus 2, that is 7, di ba? And negative 9 minus 2, that is negative 11. Therefore, this will be your roots. But then, your answer must be in set. Okay? So, your answer will be 7 and then negative 11. Dapat naka-set form or naka-roster form siya sa sets. Dapat naka-ganyan. Well, let's solve um, another example. Let's say we have um, x squared plus 36 is equal to 0. So, kailangan both sides ng equation mayroon siyang term. So, we need to transpose. Okay? Tra transpose natin yung 36 sa right side. So, x squared is equal to negative 36. Okay? And then, next is we need to extract the square roots. So, kunin natin yung square root ng both terms. So, square root ng x squared, the answer is x. How about the square root of negative 36? May square root ba ang negative 36? So, this type of number is called imaginary number. So, this is imaginary number. Walang ganyang number or the non-real number. If you're not familiar with imaginary imaginary number, tinatawag din siyang non-real number. Imaginary or non-real numbers. So, ma'am, paano na po yung sagot namin kapag ganyan yung nakuha namin? If, if your solution became like this, Pag naging, ganish, net, ganit, naging ganito siya, kukunin niyo yung square root ng negative numbers, automatically, imaginary number yon. So therefore, ang magiging sagot niyo agad dyan, pag naging real number, bigla yung solution niyo, ang sagot niyo na agad is, there is no real solution. Okay, wala nang tanong-tanong. Makikita ko na yun agad sa solution nyo kung bakit ito yung answer ninyo. Pero, um, mayroong isang matematisyan na nag-introduce ng isang variable para masolve natin yung ganitong type ng um, examples. So, if you want, I can teach you. Pero, during exams, ang hahanapin ko na lang is yung there is no real solution. But if you want to know, I'm going to discuss then. So, if you want to solve this type of uh, solutions or problem, ang magiging sagot dito, are you familiar with um, the letter I in math? So, dun siya ginagamit sa imaginary numbers. So, isipin natin muna wala muna, si, uh, wala muna siyang negative. So, ano ang square root ng 36? Um, square root ng 36 ay uh, positive negative 6, di ba? But then, 36 is a negative number. That makes it imaginary. So, dyan papasok si i. So, lagyan niya lang ng i. Okay? So, positive negative 6 i. Therefore, if I am going to rewrite my answer, uh, my answer will be like this. 6 i and negative 6i. Pero, syempre, um, in my class, I am going to accept uh, there is no real solution. Yan na yun. There is no real solution. Solution. If you're curious lang how to solve this uh, kind of number, imaginary numbers, so ganun siyang isolve. Pero, I am going to accept this answer. There is no real solution. Kasi I 
I'm going to see that in your solution. Kaya, naging, magigets ko na yun agad-agad. So, I'm going to give one last example of using this method in solving quadratic equations. Let's say, we have 7x squared minus mm -hmm, 63 is equal to 0. As you can see here, yung mga sinasolve natin una, mga perfect square na sila, di ba? Pero, in this example, meron tayong conflict na mangyayari. Kanina, nag-transpose tayo, di ba? So, we are going to transpose this on the right side. So, magiging siyang 7x squared is equal to 63. Kanina, we, we first get the square roots, di ba? Kasi, wala namang tayong problema sa mga given na nauna kasi perfect square sila lahat. Therefore, makakakuha tayo ng exact answer. Pero, dito, mayroon bang square root si 63? Wala, di ba? Hindi naman kasi perfect square si 63. If you want to know all the perfect square numbers, meron dyan sa module nyo na table and list ng mga perfect square na numbers. You can um, use that. Okay, to identify if the number is a perfect square or not. Pero si 63, hindi naman kasi siya perfect square. So, ma'am, paano na po yung gagawin namin? So, mababaliktad yung method. Imbis na kukunin agad natin yung square roots, let's divide the equation first by 7. And let's see kung magiging perfect square si 63. So, let's divide. I-isolate muna natin si x. Mauuna yon. Kabaliktaran to ng unang example natin. So, para makancel si 7 dito. Natira si x squared. 63 divided by 7, the answer is 9. Ngayon, perfect square na ba siya lahat? x squared is a perfect square. 9 is also a perfect square. Therefore, we can extract square roots um, comfortably or easily. No? So, extract na natin. Square root ng x squared, that is x. Square root ng 9 is positive, negative 3. Okay? Therefore, our answer will be like this. So, 3 and negative 3. So, that's how you get per, get the quadratic roots using uh, extracting the square roots. Dapat yung equation natin ay... May quadratic term and constant term, walang linear term, and kailangan yung both sides ng equation mayroong terms for us to extract those terms and solve for the value of x or for the quadratic roots.